What's up, fight fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the one and only Gervonta Tank Davis, a name that used to be known for explosive knockouts and being the next big thing in boxing is now all over the news for a whole different set of reasons. We've got drama, legal troubles, and a long list of controversies that have turned his world upside down. So, what exactly happened to Gervonta Tank Davis? Grab your popcorn, because this one's gonna be wild. First things first, let's talk about the raid. And no, I'm not talking about some random police check. I'm talking about full-on federal agents storming into Tank's house like they were in some action movie. This wasn't a drill. This was the feds coming in hot with a warrant in hand, ready to turn everything upside down. And trust me, they weren't just there for show. They were searching for something. And they definitely found it. Hey, the, the, the little one inside. The word on the street is that they found illegal firearms, unregistered guns, and illegal substances. Yup, you heard that right drugs and weapons. These weren't just a few questionable items either. Reports are saying it looked like an armory mixed with a stash house. And to make things worse, Tank was home when it all went down. It's not like he could say, I didn't know that stuff was there. The feds arrested him on the spot, and that's when everything took a turn for the worse. <laughs> What the hell, bro? Uh, you know, people who All right, so what, what, what's your side of this? Tank has since been taken into custody, and as of now, he's sitting behind bars. His lawyers are scrambling, trying to come up with some kind of defense, but things don't look good. The charges are stacking up. Possession of unregistered firearms, illegal drugs, and a whole bunch of other things that could put him away for a long time. And according to Tank, none of it was his. He's been saying it was all a setup, that someone from his inner circle sold him out. He said in a recent statement, they're out to get me. I've been betrayed by people I trusted, but at this point, that might not be enough to get him out of the mess he's in. He's a snake in a suit. That's all. Who? He's a snake. Are you talking Why? about Eddie Hearn? Why? Bro, he let, uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Connor Ben. Connor Ben test positive and was still going to let him fight. Hmm. Still was going to let him fight. Dillian White would fuck after he tested. Yeah. Who? Dillian yeah. White. Dillian White. Dillian White. After the test of positive, he, see, I didn't even know that. Bro, he's a snake, bro. He's bad for Would you fight Connor Ben? Yes, if he off that shit. On an Addy Hearn show? Hey, Tank, Huh? On an Addy Hearn show? Or does it mean No, because I, I can't trust Addy Hearn. You can't trust Addy Hearn. You can't. At all. He's a snake in the suit. Not only does this situation make Tank look bad, but it could also put his entire career in jeopardy. The boxing world is watching closely. And it's hard to see how Tank's gonna come back from this one. I mean, we've seen fighters get into trouble before, but this is on a whole different level. All right, let's move on to another wild chapter of Tank's recent life, the hit and run case. This situation went down back in 2020, but it's still haunting him to this day. For those of you who haven't been following, here's the rundown. Tank was allegedly involved in a hit and run accident that left four people injured, and instead of staying to help, he reportedly fled the scene. Right now, the case against local boxing champ Gervonta Davis is in court. Police say Davis was the driver in a hit-and-run crash in Baltimore that left several people hurt. The crash happened in November 2020 at the intersection of MLK Jr. and Washington Boulevards. The police report says Davis's Lamborghini ran a red light and hit another car. Davis faces 14 counts of various traffic violations, including hit-and-run. Imagine being one of the most feared fighters in the world and then making a move like that, running away from an accident like you're some regular dude scared of getting in trouble. The victims involved were seriously hurt 
and Tank's decision to bail out without helping has a lot of people questioning who he really is outside of the ring. And I gotta say, that's not the kind of reputation you want as an athlete who's supposed to be a role model. Defendant and the defense attorney, why was he allowed to attend his pre-sentencing investigation with an entourage and not answering? The legal battle has been dragging on for years, and Tank recently faced a judge to answer for what happened that night. Long story short, it did not go well. Hey, Devontae, what do you have to say about the charges against you? Devontae, you were charged. You got nothing Devante. to say, guys. Come with me. I'm your Did you Come punch on. that woman in the face? You got nothing to say. Right now, 430, a boxing star bonding out of jail in Broward County and refusing to answer our questions. But wait, we're not even close to done with the drama. Because just when you thought things couldn't get worse, there's the sexual assault charges. Tank has been accused of sexual assault. And this is something that could have an even bigger impact on his career and reputation. These aren't just random accusations. There have been multiple allegations, and each one paints a picture of a guy who's let fame and power get to his head in some really messed up ways. Tank's legal team is out here denying everything, of course he, but the public is left with a lot of questions. And there's literally video proof of Tank assaulting his ex-girlfriend in public. So what more do you need? The fact that his name is even being mentioned in this kind of situation is a huge blow to his career. A well-known boxer accused of domestic violence has bonded out of jail. Gervonta Davis walked out earlier today. That's after a judge gave him a $1,000 bond. Davis was scheduled to headline a boxing match next week in Washington, D.C. It's unknown if that's going to happen. Now, let's talk about something that might explain why Tank's been spiraling like this. Y'all know how Gervonta was once the golden boy of Mayweather promotions right? Floyd Mayweather took him under his wing, put him on the map, and made him a superstar. But all that came crashing down when Floyd decided to cut ties with Tank and officially fired him from Mayweather Promotions. Getting fired from Mayweather Promotions was a huge hit for Tank, and it clearly affected him in a bad way. <laughs> There's been a lot of speculation about why Floyd decided to let Tank go. Some people say it was because of Tank's attitude, that he was becoming too difficult to work with and wasn't listening to Floyd's advice. Others think it had to do with Tank wanting to be his own boss and not wanting to be under Floyd's control anymore. Whatever the reason, it's clear that getting cut loose left Tank without the same level of support and guidance he used to have. And it didn't take long for things to start going downhill after that. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And... Um, but over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. So what happened to Gervonta Tank Davis? Honestly, it's a mix of bad choices, wrong people, and a whole lot of ego. He's got everything he needs to be the next big thing in boxing. The power, the skill, the fan base. But instead of focusing on the ring, he's getting caught up in all this mess. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.